I'm going to practice decision making for Hong Kong Mahjong. This exercise I call random pulls because we're going to take 13 or 14 tiles as if it were the drawn hand and see where we might be able to find score. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll the dice to see which seat we're in. I rolled a four. So that means we're going to be in north seat for this exercise. North seat, east round. We have a four flower. Since we're in the north seat, we're going to get score for that, a fawn. Oh, we got another flower, a three flower. We're not going to get score for that one because that's not our seat. All right, so what we have here, three cracks, three bams, three dots, and single honors. We do have two pair though. We do have our own flower. If we play all pung and then our flower, that would be four fawn. Now, usually with all pung, you wanna have four pair. So we're really shy on our pairs. I think what I would probably do is keep the five cracks Discard these first, see if we can do dots with honors because half flush is three fawn. If we pair up, we could of course switch to all pung. So I think I would hold the five crack, discard these first and see what happens. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next one. So this now is going to be south round. And this time, let's say we're going to be in west seat since I rolled a seven. Okay, for this one, I would try for a half flush with cracks. Get rid of these right here. We have two potential chows. Chow is three in a sequence. We have a pair. Any pair is a potential pung. So we have one, two, three blocks. We need four blocks and a pair. So we would need to pair these up or draw in more cracks. But I would go for a half flush here. Since it is the south round, and we have a pair of south, we could get score for that if we pung it. So I would try to pung that. If a discard goes down, I would claim it and pung to make that a pung because we would get a fawn for that. Right now we have no flowers. That is a fawn also. So half flesh, pung of the wind of the round, and no flowers, that would be three, four, five fawn. That would meet the minimum. So I think that's what I would do with this particular pull. Discard these. This time we're going to be in the West round. And I rolled an 11. Eight, nine, 10, 11 is West again. West. This is gonna be a rough go right here. We have no flowers right now, that's one fawn. Then we have a mixture. Five cracks, four bams, three dots, one honor. It's the west round, we're in west seat. I think what I would probably do 
discard dots first. See which suit comes in, because we only have one more crack than we do BAMs. And here we have a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, potential pung. So I would discard these first, see which one we draw, and go with that suit. More likely than not, it would be a half flesh, one suit with winds and dragons. This is going to be a long shot here because we have those mixed suits. You might say, well, why not just play all chow? So for example, we would even have a nearly set hand for chows. Six, seven, five, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, pair of sixes. One, two, three, four, five blocks. You need five blocks. Chows or pungs. Here we would have all chows in a pair. But this hand with mixed suits, that's only one fawn. No flowers is one fawn. That's two fawn. We got to come up with another fawn somewhere. And that's impossible when you mix chows with different suits. That's why I would get rid of this, hold this in case BAMs come in, but focus on cracks and honors. Because a half flesh is three fawn. North round. I rolled a nine. That would be west. Okay, for this one, look at all those cracks. I would probably, first let's do this, two flower. We're in west seat, so that's not going to bring us any score, but we get a replacement, two bam. I was hoping for a crack. I would probably hold the two, two dot here and focus on cracks, but hold this just in case we pair up more. Because right now we have a pair here and a pair here. You can mix suits with pungs, because all pung, all three of a kind, is three fawn. So I would hold this, but focus on cracks. Here we have a potential chow, potential chow, and there's a chow right there. So I would just focus on chows and honors, maybe go for a half flesh, or one suit if it comes in, or even all pung if we pair up. I would discard these first. These random pulls are a great way to practice finding a starting point for your drawn hand. When you play with people though, or even online, you've got to be aware of what happens at the table. The exposures, the discards, how far you are into the game as far as tiles left in the wall for picking, all those variables can change your plans. So always be aware of what goes on at the table, but find a starting point as strong as possible based on your drawn tiles. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.